everything? Yeah, it's been going really well. Um, the manager's been great with me. You know, obviously the coaching staff have been brilliant. We've all just been working really hard in, um, in the off season, and and you know, we think it showed each other night that we were we were raring to go, and we didn't stop. We didn't stop going till the last kick of the game, like you know. So uh, you know, I'm settling in really well, and hopefully we can we can uh, we can continue, you know, doing alright. Yeah, I think so, like, you know, and I think to go away to Waterford, the first game of the season, is going to be an unbelievably hard game. You know, it would be a tough game if it was in Tala, like, it would be a really tough game, but to, to go down there the first game of the season in front of 4,000 fans, like, you know, and, and to get result and to win in the last minute, and the performance, I think, was was more impressive than actually the result, like, you know, we, we went down there, we played really well, like, you know, so uh, we took the game to them. Um, I think it was really impressive, and you know, it was great to get off to the get off get off to a floor. It was like you know that and penalties. It doesn't get much sweeter than that. And you know, obviously the other way around when you can see it, you know, if you lose on penalties, it's just as good, isn't it? Like, yeah. Um, it's been well documented that obviously Stephen Baddy had kind of similar career path to himself. How influential was he to come into Shamrock for yourself? Yeah, he was. You know, as, as, as soon as I met him, I, I, I went home and. I, I spoke to people close to me and I thought, you know, it, it, it felt right, it felt the thing to do. Um, yeah, it was a good fit, it was a, it was a good feeling and, um, you know, I made a decision for myself. Some people thought it was, you know, crazy making the decision, um, but, you know, it, it felt, when I spoke to the manager, that I, um, it would benefit me and, uh, you know, I could, I, could, I could do really well from this, so... Uh, Look, I made the decision, and and the gaffer was a huge part of that, and uh, you know I'm looking forward to, to hopefully the pain. Yeah, absolutely. Now a lot of people are kind of saying, as you said, were saying you're crazy. I think in a different kind of angle, looking at things, uh, players like yourself, very high quality, coming back to the league. I think that can only encourage more yeah. people to get more crowds to games, which yeah. then ultimately bring through more players. Exactly. And more exactly. fans will bring more yeah. players through. I, I don't think um, I don't think a young Irish player. You know, playing in the Irish League is a, any any way a bad thing. You know what I mean? People might snub their nose, but you know why? Do you know what I mean? So um, it's obviously if we, the more good players we have playing in the league, it's great. You know, if you score a last minute winner against Waterford and there's hundred people there and the man is dog, nobody cares. You know what I mean? You're running off celebrating with the fans. You don't get that feeling. You know, um, I think there was like 700 hours fans or something down there, probably even more. Um, so when you when you score a last minute winner, it means something when you celebrate with your with your fans. It's a, it's it's great. So I don't I don't see it as a negative for me being here. I, I don't really listen to what people have to say, anyways. Yeah, well, I think what you could take encouragement from is the likes of Seamus Coleman, who is now up in the league and gone yeah, yeah. captain the Irish yeah. side. Yeah, you know, yeah, I think Ray most. Well. Yeah, I think most of the the Irish side now probably is made up from League of Ireland players that have probably gone away. You know, so. Um, I don't say it's a negative at all. I'm, I'm, I love being here and I love playing for four hours and you know, um, just hopefully I can do well. Yeah, and then just lastly, uh, 10 years at Tallinn now this year. Yeah. Uh, will you guys be looking to, you know, for the fans' sake, we basically be contenders for that league you now, pushing on from last year? Yeah, well, I think we need, to, we need to improve from last year. I think, you know, obviously a good start to our life. We need to just take each game as it comes because. You know, I don't think um, I don't think the big games would be our problems. I think you know last year maybe we, they dropped some silly points against some of the teams that you probably think you just show up and, and you have a, a, a right to win. That's you don't do that in football if you want to be challenging. So look, we need to do well and we need to just take each game as it comes and you know um, just try and stay stay with them as as, as long as we can because they the Cork and Dundalk are the favourites, you know. Uh, well, I just want to say thanks for your talk. Best of luck tomorrow. Oh, I'll get the first home game. I hope you'll have to plan so, yourself. Thanks, Pat. Most of the